What's up YouTube, Sky that one guy here, and today we're going to go over 275 PSA graded Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, these cards are at auction on eBay, and they do end later today. Over the next eight hours, they will be ending on eBay. Um, again, 275 cards, so it's, it's the biggest eBay auction I've had so far. Uh, I did plan to record this video a few days earlier, but uh, with the fireworks going off and everything, it just wasn't happening. So, a late upload, late notice, but uh, if you guys do want to participate in the auction, like I said, it ends today, uh, and if you don't see this video in time, that's okay. I'm going to have another auction later this month, and we'll have uh, some sealed product as well, uh, some play mats, some other cool stuff. So check the eBay store, follow it, and you can catch more in the future. So again, 275 PSA graded Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Uh, the highlight of this auction is Ghost Rares. So we'll go over the Ghost Rares first. And uh, yeah, if you catch this video in time, feel free to bid. A lot of these are still super cheap. So just start start going through the cards the uh probably the highlight of the auction is uh blackwing dragon ghost rare psa 10 first edition it's from the shining darkness from 2010 so pretty old set pretty clean hollow foil definitely deserving of the 10. no scratches no print lines which is pretty hard to do on a ghost rare um let's see do i have my there it is okay grab this kind of see if that displays well or not yep that looks pretty good okay let's keep going so then we have power tool dragon psa 9 ghost rare raging battle first edition so a lot of really cool ghost rares in here uh, if you didn't know these are some pretty expensive cards then we've got a clear wing synchro there is some lower grade ghost rares so even if you're on a budget some of these came out the pack with some print lines, as you can see here, just from sliding around in the pack. It's still pack fresh, just has some print lines, so still a really clean card. Then we've got a Star Eater, one of my favorites. Um, just the artwork on this really looks cool. So, yeah, PSA 9 Judgment of Light Star Eater First Edition. Then we've got a Majestic Star Dragon First Edition PSA 9. And this one's really clean, has no print lines, but it is off-center, as you can see. The right border is much bigger than the left. So I believe that's the reasoning behind the 9. Still a very, very clean card from uh, Stardust Overdrive First Edition Ghost Rare. Majestic Star Dragon. Then we've got a Majestic Red Dragon. Again, I mean, look at this hollow. Like, there's, like, no... No scratches, no flaws, just uh, off-center again. PSA 9, Absolute Power Force, very clean copy, Majestic Red Dragon. This one is unlimited, but uh, still really cool. And then we've got an unlimited Majestic Star Dragon Ghost Rare PSA 8 as well. Some beautiful cards for sure. If you're not into Ghost Rares, there's plenty of other stuff in this auction as well. Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Pretty cool. Number 107. This is a low grade. This has some definite surface issues. But uh, Ghost Rares kind of just feels good to just encase them so they don't get any future scratches because these things are super easy to scratch. So it's still a really nice display card. I mean, it has like no uh, edge wear, corner wear. The only thing is just the uh, scratches on the hollow. So still a pretty nice copy. Majestic red dragon again so you can see the trend very off center but a very clean copy very clean so really cool cards here majestic red dragon and we've got a clear wing synchro dragon cross souls first edition red dragon archfiend very cool uh, red dragon archfiend assault mode i should say first edition uh, I believe that's Crimson Crisis First Edition. Got another number 107. This is a PSA 8 Unlimited Ghost Rare. And then this is one of my favorites in the auction for sure. Shooting Star Dragon from Stardust or from uh, Star Strike Blast. PSA 8 First Edition. This set is very hard to find. Sealed. Rather expensive. Hard to pull that card. Okay, Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend. Convention of Chaos. Again, has some print lines, so it's a lower grade, but still really clean copy overall. 
And then Rogue Champion Excalibur, lower grade six, still really cool, Return of the Duelist, Ghost Rare. And then I believe the last Ghost Rare is the Odin, uh, Storm of Ragnarok, first edition. So, very cool. I believe that was all the Ghost Rares, I could be wrong. And then, uh, I don't have anything else sorted. Everything else is just in the order that I put it in the auction, so... It's gonna be a mix of tens, low grades, high grades, a little bit of everything. But uh, we've got a Rise of the Storm Monarch, the original printing force of the Breaker, PSA 10. Master Monk, Lost Millennium, first edition, PSA 10. And then we've got some Power of the Duelist stuff here, Double Dude, PSA 9. Jumbo Drill, we've got both a 10 and a 9, so you've got options. If you uh, don't want to spend up for a 10, there's a perfectly clean PSA 9 mint card right there. Ultimate Tyranno, PSA 10. BS Covered Core, BS Tetran. I know I saw somebody on social media looking for a PSA 10 of this. Unfortunately, this is a 9, but still very clean. Uh, Cloudian Eye of the Typhoon, a Rock Dragon, Aqua Dolphin PSA 10, that's a really nice one, Power of the Duelist 1st Edition, that's the original Aqua Dolphin, and we've got a Dark Cloud, cool little Kaiba card, um, then we've got Elemental Hero Flare Neos PSA 10, Dark World Dealings, PSA 9. The original printing of Dark World Dealings. Got a really cool looking scapegoat. And a gold Lord from Elemental Energy. So like I said, kind of just random, random mix of stuff, but uh, still really cool stuff. Okay. It's 175 cards. I've got tons of cards over here. Kind of just grabbing at random, so. Power Tool, PSA 8 from its original set. Here's a really nice one. Divine Dragon Excellion. Let's see, can I get that in better light? Not really. Camera doesn't want to do it justice, but uh, really nice looking card. PSA 9 Mint Ultimate Rare <clears throat> Shadow of Infinity. And then uh, there's a Odin and a Loki Ultimate Rare, both from their original set. The Loki's PSA 9 first edition. Megamorph PSA 8. This is original Magic Roller 2002. Here's a number 62 Galaxy Eyes. Really nice one. Primal Origin PSA 9. Very clean copy. Air Knight Parshath PSA 6. Pretty clean 6. I'm not sure what happened there. Imperial Order. This is a first edition. Secret Rare from Pharaoh's Servants. So this is OG First Ed PSA 8 Secret Rare. So that was the secret you got when you opened that box of Pharaoh's Servant. First edition back in the day. Pretty cool if you got a secret. Uh, Exodia the Forbidden One. This is the reprint LOB. This is a really nice one. This is Mirror Force First Edition Metal Raiders. These are pretty expensive in any condition. This may be a 6, but if you look at it, Perfect display card, perfect binder card. Look at that, really clean copy. So, pretty cool. Explosive Magician, Ultimate Rare. This is uh, Dark Revelation Volume 3, which is a pretty niche set, but pretty hard to find set. Sacred Phoenix of Nephthys. This was the cover card for Flaming Eternity. Then we've got a, this is a nice one, PSA 10, first edition, Ultimate Rare, Dark Magician. I believe this is the only Ultimate Rare Dark Magician, if I'm remembering correctly. And another really nice one, Gaia Drake, the Universal Force PSA 10 from Star Strike Blast. Again, very expensive set to open, very hard to find sealed, hard to find Ultimate Rares in mint condition from that set. Not something you can easily replicate. Okay, do you guys hear cards? On over in the background they're in a graded shoe box i don't know if you've ever had cards in there but uh they might make some noise but they're not getting uh any problems they're just falling over on each other 
Uh, Pyramid of Light. This is the these the next few cards are the original 2004 movie promos. So if you went to that movie, you got a pack and it could have these cards in it. So pretty cool for anybody who remembers that Sorcerer of Dark Magic and the Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. Very cool. And I do have a couple doubles here. So there's an extra Sorcerer's couple extra Sorcerer of Dark Magic. And we've got some Rise of Destiny stuff. I really enjoy opening these packs. It's a fun set to open. Divine Wrath. Pretty strong trap card. Big Core. Always a big fan of the machines. Desolus Monarch. Very cool. And this is all Rise of Destiny. So, Picaroo's Circle. That's a PSA 8 Super Rare. And then we've got a PSA 9 Ultimate Rare Picaroo's Circle as well. And I'm not an expert, but this uh, Ultimate Rare foiling looked different than the other Picaroo's Circle I own. So I'm not sure if that means this is Euro print or... I'm not really sure. I'm not an expert on uh, Ultimate Rare foilings. I couldn't tell you, but uh, I will note it definitely looked different. It, this one pops a little bit more. So that was interesting. Very cool looking, very nice looking card. Uh, Triangle Spark for the Harpies. PSA 9. This is a really cool one. Horus the Black Flame Dragon Level 6 PSA 10 from its original set, Soul of the Duelist. And if you don't want to pay up for the 10, there's a Mint 9 that's very clean. So again, you've got options for a very cool card. And Soul of the Duelist Ectoplasmer. So we skipped from uh, Res Destiny to Soul of the Duelist. So, so some really nice stuff in there. Actually, there's uh, another Ectoplasmer coming up next. So it looks like we might be carrying on with Soul of the Duelist. Let's see, here's another Ectoplasmer. So again, you can have a 9 or a 10. And here's a few more Soul of the Duelist cards. Hall of Life Barrier, really cool looking trap card, super rare. Mobius the Frost Monarch, so we've got Thessalus, Mobius, got a lot of the OG Monarchs. Penumbral Soldier Lady. I did auction one of these uh, a few months back. And I had like two or three different people reach out to me wanting to buy it after the auction. So hopefully they get their chance now. Null and Void. Greed. And another Greed. So got some options there. I'm going to kind of speed up a bit because we still have like 200 cards to go through. <laughs> We're already at like 15 minutes. Trap Jammer. Dedication. These are original. Invasion of Chaos. PSA 9. Original 2004 First Edition Dark Mirror Force. Vision Chaos First Ed. It's pretty hard to get. I mean, booster packs, First Ed, Vision Chaos booster packs are expensive. So here's a 9, an 8, First Ed, Twin Headed Behemoth. And if you want a really cheap copy, here's an unlimited but original 2003 8. So you've got plenty of options there from a much cheaper copy to a slightly more expensive First Ed copy in a better grade. So options for for those got a rota reinforcements of the army original copy again 2003 so it looks like we're in legacy of darkness right now dark altar the terrible sure priest coming up next and now we're in ancient sanctuary with a needle brewer again i'm always a big fan of the machines gonna start running out of room here soon Okay, this pile has a couple of good cards in it at the back, if I remember correctly. So Ancient Sanctuary, Legacy Hunters, got two of those, one first ed, one unlimited. Visor Shock, Pharaonic Guardian. So I think the next few are Pharaonic Guardian Ultra Rares. Eugene Ritchie, Rope of Life, Great Desard, two different Great Desards, Mystical Knight of Jackal. PSA 9. So far, all these are either 8s or 9s. Don's a Lug. And then that was it for Pharaonic Guardian. Now we've got a, this is a cool one Crimson Crisis First Edition PSA 10 Secret Rare Dark Bolt Hannis. Very cool. 2009. And we've got a Creator Ultimate Rare. If you're a fan of the Creator, this is a perfect chance to get a nice display copy of it at a nice 
price. I assume PSA 6 is probably not going to go too expensive, but man, this thing looks awesome. I always really liked that card. Same thing with Blue Eyes again. Nice little budget copy. Original 2002 print, not a reprint. This is the original. So maybe a 5, but that just means you're going to get a nice display copy for cheap. Doom Kaiser Dragon, really nice one. Again, Crossroads of Chaos, very expensive set to buy in first edition. And uh, oh, here's the Wadapon movie packs. I don't know how those got mixed up from the other movie packs, but that's the last promo from the 2004 movie pack that we showed earlier. So again, PSA 10 and a PSA 9 copy of that. Okay. I might not show all the cards in this video. I might have to stop at some point because if I go over, I think it's 40 minutes, I have to like convert the video into a different file and it would add an extra hour into the upload time. So don't want to do that. Uh, so we'll speed through some magic ruler cards here. So we've got giant grenade eight and a nine, black pendant eight and a seven, all original magic ruler, not the reprinted spell ruler. This is all 2002, over 20 years old. Messenger of Peace, PSA 9, First Ed. And there's a budget one too, if you wanna get one much cheaper. Painful Choice, Painful Choice PSA 10. Yeah, if there's anybody still watching this video, this is a great place to get some cheap cards. If you want some cheap graded cards to display, it's a great way to do it. I'm sure a lot of these uh, will go under $25. Maybe even snipe a few for 10 or so. If you're lucky, maybe less, maybe more, who knows? So, definitely perfect chance for somebody like that. And if you missed that auction, but you're still watching this video, check back, because I do these auctions almost, at, I try to do them at least once a month. Sometimes uh, I'll do multiple in a month, sometimes I'll do less. This month I will have another one, so I'll do two this month. But uh, yeah. Also, if you want to send your grade cards in to, uh, to get auctioned with mine, um, I do consign it for that. You can reach out to me on uh, Facebook or email, eBay, anywhere you want to reach out to me, Instagram, Spellbinding Circle, that's a nice one. And uh, I can help you sell your graded cards in an auction with hundreds of other graded cards to help get extra views and get you paid in a week after the auctions end. The, the auctions take a week, so it's pretty fast. So if you have cards you want to get graded and then sell, I do have a consignment service where I grade your cards and then when they get back from PSA, I'll send them to auction for you. So much sim similar to Z and G. I don't know if anybody knows that name, but uh, Pokemon guy. But yeah, so I can do, I can do your, uh, I can get your cards graded for you and then send them to auction, get them sold. So get a little bit of extra value if you think your cards are worthy of grading but don't want to deal with it yourself. That's the best way to do it. So, Fairy Meteor Crush PSA 10. This is a pretty big one. This is still, this only has a few hours left and it's still like under 50 bucks, which is crazy because I think the last sold was like 200 or something. So, 250 maybe. So, could get that one for a steal of a price. Fairy Meteor Crush. And then this one's really cool. This is an OC grade, which PSA does not give out very often at all. And that basically means this card is mint and it should be a PSA 10 but it's off-centered, so because the factory cut it wrong, it's not a 10, it's a 9 OC. And it's pretty rare they give that out, so pretty cool. Gear Freed the Iron Knight, got a couple of those. This is all Pharaoh's Servant. Parasite, Parasite, Magical Hats, really cool one there. This is all original 2002 Pharaoh's Servant. So again, over 20 years old. Changes appearance, we've got a PSA 9 and a PSA 6. Fire. Sorry I'm going so fast, it's just we, we haven't even gone through one box of cards and I have like more than two boxes here. So, get a little worried about the time <laughs> on that. Um, let's see, I'm going to skip some of this stuff just based on time. We do have a ton of uh, tournament pack cards in this auction. If you like old tournament pack cards, uh, tournament pack six, tournament pack four, they're mostly commons and rares, but there's some really cool ones in there. Um, this is one of my 
the artworks I like the most. It is a lower grade. I don't know why. It's pretty clean. But uh, that is one of the artworks I like the most. There is better grades. There's like fusions. There's a nine of that in there as well. Um, but we're going to skip those for now. Just save us a few cards. Golden Flying Fish. This is Phantom Darkness. So I did grade a lot of Phantom Darkness. So Escape from Dark Dimension. Beginning to end, that's a really cool one. Drastic Drop Off. Always a fan of the machines. Dark Nephthys. Let's see if I can find the rest of the Phantom Darkness. I think they're in the next box over. Yeah, these should be, should be them. So we're gonna do a few more piles and we're probably gonna end the video. And uh, if you guys wanna see the rest, you can always check my eBay. So Doomsday Horror, we do have a PSA 10 of that. Super rare, Phantom Darkness. Phantom Darkness packs are also getting pretty expensive. So uh, these are not very easy to pull. You can't just buy packs for 10 or $15 anymore, you know? First edition packs, at least. Uh, U-Bell, so that's a pretty popular one. Cyber Valley, another really popular one. This is a PSA 10. Everybody loved Cyber Dragon back in the day, or at least I did, and a lot, a lot of people in my locals did, so. Prime Material Dragon, Field Commander Roz, PSA 10 again. Volcanic Counter. Zoma, the Spirits. We've got a PSA 10, Escape from Dark Dimension. Dark Knight Parshath. Really like the Ultra Rares in this set. They look really cool. And a Super Ancient Deep Sea, which this one saw some play a few times throughout the years. All right, I think we're gonna call it pretty soon. I see some PSA 10s in the next pile, so we'll at least do this pile and one more. Uh, this is a low grade, but it's a misprint, and you, PSA didn't used to grade these, but they finally started grading them as ultra rare name errors, because this is supposed to be a silver name, secret rare, but they accidentally printed it with an ultra rare name, a gold name. So, lower grade, but it's a really cool misprint that you used to not be able to get. I actually have two of them, one's a five and one's a six, so... Glad to see PSA finally grading these. These were actually sitting in a card saver that had been sent to PSA and it said return to sender and basically saying they don't grade these. So once they finally started grading them, took them out of the card saver and sent them back. So took two tries, but they finally got them encased. Left arm of the forbidden one. This is a uh, really, I don't know if it's faded or what, but it definitely looks very vintage for sure. Original left arm LOB. Uh, here's some Elemental Heroes. These ones are cool. So we've got Evil Hero Inferno Wing. These are all PSA 10s. Elemental Hero Grand Neos. Dark Neos. And Aqua Neos. And if you saw the other stack earlier, there was a Flare Neos. So Aqua Neos, Flare Neos, Dark Neos, Grand Neos, and uh, Inferno Wing. So a bunch of different E-Heroes in here. All PSA 10s. This is the, I really like this artwork of uh, Dark Magician Girl, PSA 9. And from the same set, the Ten of the Pharaoh Gods, a PSA 10 Red Eyes Black Dragon. Very cool. Then a Remove Trap, that's the original SDY. So that's 2002, that's almost as old as it gets. Uh, Chocolate Magician Girl, really nice Lost Art promo. Really cool looking card. Uh, number 12, Crimson Shadow Armor Ninja. This is a Super Vicroid Jumbo Drill Ultimate Rare PSA 10 Power of the Duelist. That's a really nice one. Number C101, oops, Silent Honor Arc, PSA 10. Gladiator Taming, Extreme Victory, First Edition Secret Rare. Extreme Victory is fun to open. It's a Dark Diviner, Order of Chaos, and this is a Amazonas Archers, but from Dark Revelation 1, which again, another niche set, but hard to find. Okay, let's see, I see PSA 10s. We'll see how it goes. Let's see the last stack, or we might do one more. We'll, we'll see how we're doing on time. So help Homer. Yeah, so this is all Dark Revelation stuff. So Dark Revelation Volume 1, so Different Dimension Dragon again, DR1. This is Dark Beginning 1, Ceasefire, PSA 9. And then here's some Labyrinth the Nightmare, Bazoo the Soul Eater. 
All right, here's some PSA 10s. Empress of Prophecy, Abyss Rising, PSA 10. Rogue Champion Gondiva, also Abyss Rising, PSA 10. This one's really cool. Abyss Dweller, original printing, Abyss Rising, first edition, PSA 10, and it's a pop one. So this is the only one out there. Right now it's still under 50 bucks. So we'll see how that auction does. Really cool card, really cool. Bujin Yamato, Judgment Light PSA 10. These are all PSA 10s in this stack right here. Excalibur, Master Monk. This is probably one of the highlights of the auction too. I really like this card. Chaos King Archbeam PSA 10 Ultimate Rare from the Shining Darkness. Very nice card, very clean. PSA 10, that's kind of worth, worth putting up somewhere. Um, okay, and then that was it for the 10s. Here's a Dark Beginning 1 PSA 8 Red Eyes. Pretty nice card. This is a video game promo. GX Tag Force Evolution. And we've got Galactic Overlord, First Edition, Secret Rare, Trial and Tribulation. Abyss Rising, First Edition, Secret Rare, Retort. Uh, Seto Kaiba Structure Deck, Petin Clown. And uh, here's a nice one, PSA 10, Noble Knight, Dristan, Judgment of the Light. Very cool. That might have been a pop one as well. I know there's a lot of Noble Knight fans out there. Pretty cool card. Nice little display card. Um... Yeah, so I think we're pretty much done. Uh, I will say there is a bunch of like LOB first edition cards in here as well. If you like uh, LOB first ed commons or rares, there's like a ton of them, mid grade six, sevens, eights, and some nines um, all in this auction. So if you if you want some cool, cheap nostalgia, these will probably all go around 10 to 20 bucks if I had to guess. Um, maybe some of the higher grades will go higher, but there's probably 40 or 50 LOB cards in this set, in this auction, so good opportunity there. And um, plenty of other stuff, Metaphys Forest, Acid Rain, Blade Armor Ninja, that's a cool one. Tyrus, that's really cool one too. Generation Force, trying to keep this under 30 minutes, so we'll wrap it up here, but SDY First Ad, Portuguese, Dark Magician. Um, Naturia Beast DT, Space Time Please PSA 10 from Generation Force, Grandmaster Hanzo, that's a really cool one to finish on, there we go, PSA 10. Alright, cool, so that is the auction, uh, I showed probably half of the cards, but uh, feel free to check it out, again, ending today, eBay, next uh, 8 or so hours, 3 to, three to 8 hours, Over the, it'll be a 5 hour auction, uh, it'll last 5 hours long, I believe. So go check it out if you're seeing this video the same day it's uploaded. And if you're not, feel free to check out my eBay. Uh, you can always send me a message asking when the next auction is. Um, I know I don't upload videos on time, but uh, with the 4th of July and everything, I just uh, figured the video wasn't really going to work with fireworks blowing up right out my window. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you guys see this in time to check out the auction, uh, if you actually win any cards and see this video, uh, leave a note in your order, in your eBay order, and I'll hook you up with something extra. So that's pretty much it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.